I love your costume. The Thank unibrow you. is classic Matt Harris. We've got Matt's brother, Derek. What is your favorite story about your brother? Yeah, I was going to give you a, a general growing up kind of thing. Back when I was a kid, old enough to start paying attention to clothes and whatnot, I, uh, I couldn't wait to get his hand-me-downs. Silk shirts, a silk shirt with race cars on it. Uh, Fly. A vest with stripes on, some pants, striped pants. You know, now he's four years older, so I'm thinking at the time, like, he's cool. When I found out later in life that by no means was he cool, and I shouldn't have been winning those hand-me-downs. And by the time I got the hand-me-downs, four years later, they really weren't all that cool. But you can look at some of our class pictures. I have the same clothes on as he had four years previous. And then he got into high school, college, and he grew out this, what I thought was awesome mustache. So I'm like, that's cool. But then at the same time, there was one thing I didn't want to grow that he had, and that was the unibrow. <laughs> So thank God I didn't get the unibrow, but I did achieve the mustache. <laughs> okay, did you ever tell your brother that the unibrow wasn't cool, or you let him go around thinking that, man, that well, is the height of masculinity? In his defense, in his defense, we had, there was no manscaping. So I didn't, that was what I was fearful of, because I never heard of anybody tweezering or shaving or unibrow. So I saw it, you just got to deal with it. I just found out now that he didn't take care of that thing until 1996. That's a little extended in time, if you know what I mean. He could have knocked that thing out in about 1989. <laughs> so. Does the unibrow run in your family? Uh, not to my knowledge. <laughs> I think that was his own special thing. I don't know. He, he had some bonus DNA in there. I don't know. <laughs> What did you learn about girls from having Matt Man as your older brother? Uh, I didn't know they existed until I was about uh, 15, because he never brought them around. <laughs> he didn't have any girls. I learned nothing. <laughs> so he wasn't a ladies' man? <laughs> did you see the unibrow? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, he's still, I don't know how Amy... <laughs> I don't know. I think she made him shave the unibrow and decided to keep him around. But ladies' man, no. <laughs> so what was the most important life lesson you learned from your brother? Um, life lesson? <laughs> Other than trimming unwanted hair? <laughs> I don't I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if he taught me anything. <laughs> That's pitiful. <laughs> you know what? He said that you used to fight his battles. How is it that you fought his battles and you were younger than him? No, no, no. I would fight any battle. <laughs> and he would just come in and give me... He never fought. I've never seen him fight in his life. Uh, but he was great. He, he was very patient in taking the little brother and calming me down. And Wait a minute. He calmed you down? Yes. Believe it or not. We did a flip-flop in adult life. I don't know that, how that happened. <laughs> I'm the calm one now. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and scene. <laughs>